me out. You know, I didn't talk to people close to this case, very close to this case. It's a lot of people like my YouTube channel. They give me information. They say, true, we fuck with your channel. So I'm going to give you the information first before I give anybody else the information. You know, and this source is, you know, I believe this source is accurate because I didn't got this information from a lot of people and they don't know each other, you know, but people close to this case. I was told, okay, now check it out. You got to understand, these guys are staying solid. It's no rumors of telling on the internet. And every time somebody get locked up, you hear rumors of telling. Somebody telling, somebody snitching. You ain't hear none of them rumors in this old block case. These guys are staying solid, claiming they innocence, claiming they had nothing to do with this. Even though the feds is alleging they had something to do with this. I was told that the feds not only got the license plate readers, but they got videos of people running out of like the projects and returning back to the projects. We all know about that because that news has been on the internet. But I was told that from somebody close to the situation. A lot of this shit be on the internet. It just be internet chatter. You can't guarantee that that news be real. So, you know, I, I took that with a grain of salt. But the person who told me this, I believe that, you know, uh, that they believe that the feds are claiming they got this. Now, if they got what they think they got is a whole different question. I'm not here to convict nobody. I'm just here to tell you the news that I was told. I was also told that there's somebody on this case that's wrongly accused of this crime. I was told that there's somebody on this case. You know, and I was told this by close people. Now, remember, this is just a rumor. So don't go out saying truth guaranteed this. That's not what I'm saying. But remember, my job is to bring you the news that's covered up. And I'm telling you that I was told from multiple people close to this situation that told me it's somebody on this case who's being falsely accused. He had nothing to do with this case. Not saying the other four had anything to do with this case, but somebody told me that they know for a fact it's one person on this case that's not really like O'Block. And he is being charged on this case and he had nothing to do with this case. But he's going to stay solid and not tell anything. That's what I was told. And the crazy part is I was told this uh, about maybe four months ago. And I, man, I, ain't, I ain't paying attention to that shit. I was told again maybe two months ago. These are from different people. And then I was steady told, being told again yesterday by this source that's very close made me say, yeah, this is, you know, close to accurate. But I was told there's somebody on this case. Um, this duck case that's being falsely accused he had nothing to do with this. Not seeing the other guys had anything to do with this either, but most definitely one person on this case wasn't there. Just maybe his property was used in this, uh, something like that. Uh, but they saying, you know, those are rumors that's going out on in the city shit like that. But I'm going to tell you, these guys are claiming they're innocent. They're claiming they had nothing to do with this, regardless of what you've seen. The license plate reader, guys had masks on according to the paperwork. You don't got nobody face and got nobody doing anything, then it's just circumstantial. Yeah, you might got a video, but if a guy look like this, can you really say that's the shooter? Just think about that. I want y'all to look at this. A guy blinking, look. He blinking, right? Can you really say that's truth right there? You know? You feel me? Yeah, it looks like me. I got a head on, but can you really see me? Remember, these guys got hoodies on. They covered up all kind of shit. Face masks, all kind of shit. So, you know, I think it's going to be the police job to say that's them. Now, if they have some tape where they saying guys are running out of the projects and then running back in around the same times, then that might up the ante. But that's what I was told on the old Block 5 update that, you know, these guys are going to take this to trial. They claiming they innocent. Uh, nobody's telling just because the internet convicts you don't mean that you convicted. Now, the feds, you know, normally when the feds come in, they got strong news. You know, the feds is like a cheat code. You know, you know how you got video games and you, you type in the cheat code and they make a football player extra big and strong, a basketball player. He shoot all three, he turn his threes up to 99. Every three he hit, it go in and shit. You know, that's how the feds is. They're cheat code. Normally when the state and the regular police don't got a lot of information, they'll come in and, you know, they'll do shit like this and they got the win, you know. They pressure you in to take these deals, pressure people to work with them and all kind of shit like that. But I don't think that any of the old block guys are cooperating. But I was told somebody on this case, you know, allegedly had nothing to do with this. Uh,